Hi folks, in this video demonstration we'll be showing how to apply a firmware rescue on the 4GR and right now I have the computer hooked up with an Ethernet cable into the back of the 4GR on one of the four LAN ports it has to be on the LAN port not on the WAN port and you need to power on the router with the reset button pushed in at the same time so you hold down the button and then you turn it on and you keep holding down the button for about five seconds and then you let go of that button so the router is now on and it's in that state and on the computer we have to run the Devado firmware utility which is available for download off our website on www.devado.com forward slash firmware so I'll open up the program as you can see there it's called Devado Firmware Utility for 4GR and this is version 5016 uh, we've had this uh, capability since many releases ago but here you have for instance the upgrade tool so you can upgrade a healthy box and here you can rescue uh, a box that has been corrupted by a failed firmware update now why do things go wrong and that's because sometimes um, during a firmware update people will uh, remove the USB modem or a power outage can occur or just bad luck and here we have uh, the router has been auto detected by the rescue utility as you can see the rescue IP address is correct so we haven't had to to manually change the IP address of the router but if you need to and you don't know how you just push help here a little guide pops up on how to change the IP address on your computer to 192.168.1.128 so let's apply this rescue and there we go rescuing and rescue firmware has been sent to router and this will take about two minutes to restore or rescue the router to its original settings you will not lose the configuration file that you had before. Uh, you will of course if you if you uh, apply a factory you should reset by holding down the reset button for eight seconds. But uh, should get back to where you were before um, the upgrade but also you will have version whatever it is you just ran now. In our case it was 5.0.16. Okay thank you bye bye.